night, Janet. He was one of the greatest Chargers players, and he has been called one of the greatest running backs ever in the NFL. Today, family and friends gathered to say goodbye to Chuck Muncie. New at 6, 10 News reporter John Carroll live in Point Loma with why one former teammate with one former teammate's emotional memories. John. I take a lots of laughter and tears today here at the Rock Church as more than 100 people gathered to grieve together by sharing memories of one of the greatest Chargers ever. Former teammates, a coach, all spoke warmly of number 46, Chuck Muncie, and Muncie's daughter, Danielle, who said how proud she was to be his daughter. You weren't Chuck Muncie to me. You weren't the famous NFL running back. You were, you were dad. I will always cherish the time we had together. Muncie began his football career playing for Cal State Berkeley. Then it was off to the NFL. After playing for the New Orleans Saints for four years, he was traded to San Diego in 1980. The next year, he would run for 1,144 yards on 256 carries, scoring what was then an NFL record, 19 touchdowns. But during those years of NFL stardom, Muncie was also dealing with private demons. He became addicted to cocaine, and that cut his career short. But he went on to turn his life around and form a foundation that mentors troubled children. It's hard to put into words how we felt about Chuck. Longtime Charger and San Diego broadcaster Hank Bauer says there was a universal love for Chuck Muncie. Chuck loved the game, and Chuck loved the city of San Diego. And um, it was fun for everybody, and uh, it's tough to, see him, tough to see him go. Bauer told me there is a hole in his heart now that Muncie is gone. I'm sad because I'll never see him again, uh, but I'm here to celebrate his life because he did not get shortchanged. It's fair to say neither did any of Muncie's many friends and fans. Now, as you may know, Chuck Muncie died suddenly and unexpectedly earlier this month of a heart attack. He was just 60 years old. But the fact that he leaves behind a foundation that helps troubled kids means his legacy of doing good for others will continue to live on. Live in Point Loma, John Carroll, 10 News. And taking a live look at...